Hello there everybody, it is me Freezer Bunny and I'm very excited to welcome you guys finally to episode 1 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Now this is actually the second part but I'm calling this episode 1 because it is the first time that I'm ever gonna see some actual gameplay in this brand new Sims 4 game, okay guys? So we have a very very small house. It is so sad like it's kind of small and it's not even funny how small and tragic it looks but what I'm actually gonna do is um, before I do any renovations to the house I actually just wanna have my s oh are they fighting uh, oh that's so cute check out the interaction but yeah before I do any renovations and stuff I actually want to see like what type of interactions we have for our s oh my god check them out Okay, so it looks like they are actually like gaining skills as we go. So that's really really cool actually. Anyway, I want to see what kind of um, Express admiration and we can hold hands and we can embrace Express fondness and embrace and this you know this brand new user interface has a lot of like You know getting used to I guess uh, uh, yeah, I really have to get to use get used to like this new interface and stuff, but yeah I what was that was that like one of our neighbors? Okay, that was one of our neighbors really really cute actually and they're oh It looks like they have two relationship bars the, the, the top one is The foundation of a strong relationship has forged a lasting love and a current relationship blah 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 so, okay, okay, whatever. Two sims one heart I guess this is like their romantic one in like, I don't know, kiss cheek, let's kiss his cheek, and let's uh, heartfelt compliment, and uh, what are these ones with the green, I don't know. Oh, and that gave, what that gave? Whim, your sim has whim based on the current emotion, whims are the desires of your sim, hover over whim to learn about, okay, she has whim, okay, dance to stereo music, girl, we don't have freaking stereo. And buy a toy. All right. So, um, what I actually want to do is try to renovate the house really quickly. Even though, um, oh my God, I love how like everybody is really like getting to know each other, and that's really really cool. So, um, what I what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have Rachel and Piper socialize with each other. Bright and day and heartfelt compliments and a deep conversation I guess you know you really have to do that because your mother and daughter and yeah so yeah both of take a picture together of course are they talking oh they're already talking I'm like okay that's really cool and he can also talk with his dad as well make silly face Let's make silly face, make- oh, come on. Joke about nacho cheese, I guess, I don't know. Brighten day, and- oh, he can. These are the new interactions, by the way. Some, um, some of the interactions definitely carried over from The Sims 3, but a lot of interactions are actually new. So we have mischief, we can- oh, that's so bad. And we have the mean, and we have the funny, actually, which is cool. We can do that. We can do some funny interactions with him. Uh, and clues about candy, I guess. I don't know. I just really want them to be close with each other. And for Rachel, I actually want her to gain the cooking skill. So she is going to cook something really quickly. Oh my god. Um, can she serve a meal? Mm. Cook, have brunch, scrambled eggs, cook. Is this like for everyone or does this like... I don't know how do I like I, I I totally don't know how do I sort can I I'm confused whatever she's gonna cook some garden salad um, okay there we go family size you know what let's make it party size okay girl you can do it you can do it why is she not cooking okay there we go and oh my god you guys the sims 4 sim is cooking for the first time and you guys can see that i did lower down the graphics a little bit because i do want to have a smooth game honestly it looks really good in my opinion i personally if you guys know me i really don't care much about the graphics it's cartoony whatever you know that's not a big deal for me 
Um, as long as the game's playability is fine, then I don't have any complaints with that. So, what does Piper want? Um, she wants to tell a joke, and she wants to play- Oh, she wants to plant something! That's really cool. Oh my god, it looks like Rachel cut her finger or something, I don't know. And I'm guessing that- Oh my god, like, they are act- a uh, Brenton and what's it what's the name of his dad? Brenton and Glenn are actually having a really really good relationship conversation with each other up there, so that's really cool. Okay, she can what is she like? What the hell? Oh, it's still not finished. Okay. Oh, that's cool. She's like tossing the salad. I love that. I really do. And what is she? Oh, and she's talking to her mom. Oh my god! I love how they're talking with each other. That's really cool. Um, and everybody should get their bowl of food, um, grab a serving, and you can also grab a serving together with him. Okay, both of you get the serving and stuff. Alright, and can I drag this inside? Okay. Perfect! It still has the same controls as The Sims 3, or like some controls that we have carried over from The Sims 3, which is really, really cool actually. And this is so cute, you guys. This is like the image of an ideal family. So freaking cute. Eating their meal. You know, their house is not the best in my opinion. I mean, seriously though. But I think they're fine actually. I think it's gonna be a very interesting LP. I do wanna add a brand new room to the house and what is this? Oh there's like a fishing spot over here. Somebody needs to collect that gem. I saw that. <laughs> okay, dig for that. Okay, is he done? Is he done eating? I'm seriously like not used to this interface, so and I love how it does take them a while to eat because they do interact with each other. You know, they can have a casual discussion. And yeah, that's really, really cool actually. I really like this. Um, definitely being able to multitask is one of the biggest features in The Sims 4, so that's really cool. And if you guys hear that noise, the train, it's, it's outside, you know, the LRT in my country is freaking noisy. And it's outside my window, so yeah. Lucky me, but anyway, uh... Yeah, um, for some reason the game fluctuates in frame rate, which is kind of scary actually, it's really scary, but hopefully it's not gonna be as bad to you guys as it is for me to play the game. Uh, because a lot of people did complain about the fact that the frame rate does go up and down and it's really scary, so yeah. Um, actually, The Sim Supply, James from The Sim Supply was complaining that, like, his game was really laggy, and I definitely agree, but it's definitely taking them forever to eat this food. So they need to hurry up. Is he full? Where do where is his moodlet? Okay. So anyway, let me just talk a little bit about the interface that we have here, you guys. So, um Of course over here at the center we have the time of day and we have the basic speed for the game. We have pause, we have normal speed, we have double the speed, and we have super high speed. And then we also, to the left here, we have the Aspirations tab, and then we have the Career tab, we have the Skills tab, Relationships tab, Inventory tab, Simology, and Needs tab, which is the one that I wanted to check. And on the top, we have the Build Mode tab, the Open ga the Gallery tab, and then the Floor, which it, you do that to go to... To, do, to go up a floor and then we have the walls tab and then we have the camera controls and notification and then the options menu oh he's feeling bad what does he want okay he needs to use the toilet and um what i actually want glenn to do is oh they just hug that's really cute okay stop that he needs to go to the toilet um you need to use the toilet so use it really quickly is he like feeling sleepy or something? No, it's too early for you to sleep. Um, okay, so what I actually want Glenn to do is get a job. So how do we like get a job again? Do we need to have a computer? That's what I'm wondering. I'm, I think we need to have a computer. So, um... Ooh, what is that? That's really cool. What is this? 
Look for frogs? Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? That's really cool. We're totally gonna be looking for frogs, duh. I am terrified of frogs in real life, you guys. Like, I would scream if I saw a frog. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, he found a frog. Oh, he found a hypno frog. So I'm thinking it's inside his inventory. Okay. Awesome! And we can keep the frog. That's really cool. And we can pick this up. And yeah, I love how there's like, you know, the collecting things. You know, we can collect. We can still collect some stuff, which is really cool. Something that also carried over from The Sims 3 definitely. Is this like a mushroom or something? And of course, there, there goes my frame rate again. Okay, and what did he get? I'm guessing he got like... I don't know, what did he get? A mysterious... Oh my god, it's always fun to... Oh, oh it's a time capsule. Oh, that's so cool. Really, really cool, actually. And uh, for some reason, there needs... Okay, his bladder needs to be dealt with. So he's going to use the toilet. Oh, and I love how... Bre Ooh, you guys saw that glitch. <laughs> Use that, uh, use that again. And, um, here we go, let's turn that off. Because we want to save as much as possible, because I want to get out of this house, like, as soon as possible. Because, yeah, it's, it's a cute house, don't get me wrong, but, uh, I want to have a better house, though, so, uh, yeah. Let's see here, what is he doing? Isn't he, like, he's focused, okay. I'm guessing it's because he has like homework to do or something. Okay, she needs to do homework. And uh, okay, I guess it's time for me to actually like build the room that I want. Yeah, the basics, I really don't need that because I've seen enough building videos. I did watch a lot of the um, create... What? Ooh, it's, I'm guessing it's too small. I mean, it's, I'm guessing it's too big. Oh, it's too... Uh, it's kind of too big. It's too big, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to get rid of the living room, which is fine for me. So let's, you know what, let's move. Let's move all the stuff out of the way first. And then sell that window, just to be sure. And then let's buy this. Oh, this is for a child! This is for a kid. Like a baby, though. Uh, yeah, that's kind of sad. Let's see here. This is a playroom, which is also something that we don't need. Uh, buy room? Oh, uh, these are so big. You know what? Let's just buy the baby's room and just sell everything that we don't need, pretty much. I guess we can just plop that there, you know? Okay, and in this room, we're gonna- ooh. Um, how do we drag? Oh my god, I'm totally, like, out of it. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> How do we click and drag the room? Like, I'm so confused. Okay, control Z. You know what, whatever. I'm just gonna do what I, whatever, like, I'm used to. So, I am used to, like, just building off the walls and stuff. So, I'm just gonna do that here really quickly. Pretty much in the style of The Sims 3, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Really, really fast and easy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This living room needs to be, like, reoriented, so... Put that there, and then the trash can can be placed over there. Oops. Can I rotate it? And let's see here. Where is the button thing? Let's see here. Okay, we need to delete. Okay, we need to put that there. Ooh, look at the window. Awesome. Okay, why is it, like, moving like that? Uh, like this. Okay, there we go. Uh, the windows are freaking awesome, you guys. I mean, like, we can actually change the height of the windows. <coughs> Excuse me? I've not gotten any sleep. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we can change the height of the windows, and that is freaking amazing, because, yeah. So I'm guessing that this is supposed to be like, oh my god, like that. Looks fine, and I'm just gonna, oh my god, where is the freaking eyedropper tool? I can't find it. 
Okay, there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then I want the same type of trim. Where do I find the trim? Like, the trim... Uh, where's the trim? Okay, I'm guessing it's like over here. Foundation, freezes, and exterior trims. Okay, I'm guessing this is what we have. Nope. Where's the trim though? Like, uh, uh, mm, oh, maybe it's here. How do I get one of these? Like, these are... I want these. Oh, maybe it's in the foundations. And, uh, awesome Argyle. Where can I... <laughs> Someone help me, please. I'm freaking confused. I'm, like, totally... How do I get one of those trims to appear on the foundation? I'm guessing... <laughs> I don't know. I totally don't know. Maybe... Oh, there we go. I guess I just have to color the foundation or something. I don't know. Why is it not applying though? Okay, there we go. So, I'm thinking... Uh, that's cute, actually. You know what? Let's go with this because it's, it's free. So, yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. Um, so yeah, we are actually doing some house modifications, so I'm really really happy that we're finally being- we're finally able to do this, uh, and let's use the eyedropper tool to- to copy the window. Love the windows though, super- oh! Is there- has there like always been a, like no door there? Okay, that's weird. I'm, I'm totally gonna be placing a door there. That's kind of weird, you know. Okay, nothing to change. So this is actually kind of strange, because uh, I'm, I'm seeing no partition over here between the rooms. So, oh, okay, there we go. Awesome, and then let's just paint that as well. I'm doing some, like, major changes to the house here you guys so yeah and for the master bedroom okay it's gonna be that color and it wasn't even a master bedroom it was more of like just a room you know i mean it was just a corner <laughs> if you guys get what i mean it was like yeah whatever and let's see what do i need to change again uh okay i want to buy some furniture, of course. Uh, let's see here. Of course, it's gonna be some kid stuff. You know what? I think it's just gonna be the same stuff as what she has, because I'm not even I'm not really that bothered about the furniture right now. Because yeah, like I said earlier, I really want to move out of this house like as fast as possible. So yeah. Uh, Put that there and then for this thing we can put that over there the bed i'm just gonna rotate it like that awesome really really cute actually okay that that's that's fine um and then what else did i want to put okay we can actually try to put like um a desk here in the master bedroom for uh objects by function blah 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 okay can you like get out of the way Okay, there, there we go. I want to have some desks for, like, the office area. Can this thing, like... Okay, there we go. Just really, really cheap, you know. I really don't need anything that fancy. So, you know what? This work. This will work just fine. Okay. You know what? That's actually kind of horrible. So, let's just buy this. It's fine, you know. We can't afford it, so... I guess we can splurge a little bit of money at least and put that there and then of course the computer just a really cheap com this is really cute reminds me of something that I don't know reminds me of something that we would get like many many years ago really really cute and then what lights do we have uh, this is probably taking forever but uh, yeah. you guys know I am a builder by heart or like I love to build in this game and I just really do. So let me just put this thing over here at the center so that it can spread as much light as it can. Okay. Awesomeness. Alright. So it looks like that's 
it actually. Let me just um, copy these lights because I do want to have a brighter house. I might, um, I must admit though, the controls are gonna have to, you know, we're gonna have to get used to them, definitely, but it's not bad, you know, it's not like a major crazy negative thing, yeah. And oh, I also wanted to buy, okay, whatever, household inventory, whatever, and I also wanted to buy a stereo because, you know, it will give us the ability to like work out and stuff, so that's really cool as well. Where's the stereo though? Uh, maybe it's in living room? Okay, there we go. Really, really cute stereo here. Like, the cheapest one will be fine. For us, for now. Okay, that's actually pretty much all we need. And now, we are going to live mode again. And, uh, yeah. Continue playing this household. Um, somebody needs to take care of the freaking stereo. I mean, turn it on. Turn on to pop. Hopefully, the music isn't too loud. But um, what I actually want Glenn to do is to to find a job. I'll use... Don't, I'm pretty sure... No, she's not going to use the computer. Girl, did you finish your homework? I'm, I'm guessing she finished her homework. I'm not sure. Uh, is she finished? Do homework. And Glenn, oh come on, you s everybody is like crazy over the computer. We're poor, you guys. Uh, yeah, we we can only afford like one freaking computer. So yeah, let's find a job here really quickly for Glenn. Okay, select a career for Glenn: a painter, entertainer, astronaut, writer, culinary, criminal, tech guru, secret blah, secret agent. I actually kind of want him to be a secret agent, or I don't know. Uh, how much is the pay? Mm-hmm. Oh, Tech Guru pays 31 per hour, so that's really cool. Writer actually also sounds, sounds really cool. Let's make him an entertainer. Uh, astronaut, uh, entertainer, you've wanted your name in the lights for the time, from the time you could spell it, maybe even before. Answer your calling, claim the fame, blah blah blah, entertainer. Either making the audience laugh with you or milking- You know what, he is actually an entertainer because he's kind of brash and he has a really big personality. So we are going to accept the job. Glenn is now an amateur entertainer at Limelight. He starts Monday at 9am. Awesome. Is he finished with his homework? And where did this book come from? I'm like, where did this thing come from? Okay, somebody put that in their inventory, cause yeah. Okay, is this his homework? Okay, do your homework. And I also want Rachel to learn how to plant something. So how does she like plant something? I'm guessing she has to kind of harvest something first. Oh, check out the butterfly! Oh, okay, there's the plant over there, so, ooh. There doesn't appear to be anything in blah blah blah. Try coming back later. Let's see. Okay, so we can search the town for harvestables, which is actually really, really cool. So, um, so yeah. Let's see here. I'm looking for, like, some ripe. Oh my god, we can interact with the trees now! Yes! It's a beautiful tree, by the way. And what else is she doing? Can she like learn how to how to cook? Where is she going? Where is she going? Okay, she's viewing the plants. Um, you know what? Let's buy a bookshelf. I'm pretty sure we really need to, ha to have a bookshelf. Yeah, so that Sims can like study things and like ooh, open the wrong thing. Okay, I'm just gonna move this over here, I guess. And then for the bookshelf, where can I find a bookshelf? Probably over here, there we go. And then let's just buy a really nice- Oh, it's a kid's bookshelf, really, really cute. Um, you know what, let's buy this. This looks fine, actually. Uh, and then what color does it come with? Uh, let's make it green, whatever. Cool beans! Can we make this slanted? Awesome, we can! Okay, another sad thing about The Sims 4 is that there is no freaking move objects. I'm like, what? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, you guys, but there's no move objects. 
cheat so yeah another thing that i really want to come back because i love the move objects cheat to death like ser seriously look seriously though okay let's read um where is the thing like okay let's i guess we can buy f directly from the bookshelf which is kind of amazing you know it's like the magic bookshelf um so there's many different types of book genres here we have all then we have children's books fantasy books nonfiction, poetry romance sci-fi mystery skill books of course and emotional books so we are going to buy a skill book oh my god charisma 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 comedy cooking there we go let's buy one cooking book and one comedy book as well which is gonna cost us 150 simoleons awesome that was actually really easy um and then he she is going to read the cooking book where's the cooking book crisis orbital blah 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 the first what i mean like is it in her inventory okay it's in an it's in, our, it's in our inventory. So I'm just gonna drag this to Glenn's inventory so that he can read that. And she is going to read that book so she can learn her cooking skill. And he is going to read this so she, he can learn his jokes and stuff like that. Read comedy volume one. He actually, what else does he need to do? Is he finished? Okay, he's finished with his homework. Okay, you know what? Nope. Oh my god, what, are, what is he gonna do? Like I've said, the controls need a lot of getting used to, but whatever. Um, doing homework is an important step towards getting good grades. Okay, whatever. What else can we have him do? Like, can he, like... If we had, like, a treehouse or, like, if we were, like, at the park, that would be so cool. But maybe he can fish? Go. F oh, he can go fishing. That's really cool. Um, nope, he's not. He's actually just gonna... What is he gonna do? He's just gonna do random things, I guess. Uh, he's gonna play game. On his iPhone, of course. Uh, yeah. I didn't expect them to have, like, iPhones and stuff. But that's really cool, actually. And she is also going to... Uh, can she not, like, socialize with anyone? Whatever. Uh, let's see here. So she... I guess the Sims only know each other for now. We don't... We haven't necessarily met any of our neighbors. So tomorrow we're probably gonna be exploring the town and stuff. This is a beautiful tree, though. Really, really beautiful. So I guess for today, we're just going to be, like, you know, randomly doing stuff, I guess. And getting used to the brand new things that we have in this game. Oh, what is she digging for? Acquired the motor skill. Brenton can play the monkey bars and practice typing at the computer. Alright, okay. Oh my god, who is that? Is that Bella? Oh my god, it's freaking Bella Goth. She is like the biggest celebrity ever. Hello. Hello, Bella Goth. Hello. Let's introduce ourselves to freaking Bella Goth. And check her out in her like evening gown. She is like super fabulous. Super fabulous. Like, talk about diva. She looks like something out of like a like a noir film or I don't know something out of like you know Starlight Shores. <laughs> okay, he's still reading, so that's really cool actually. Okay, I guess you know no, you don't bother. I guess both of them are just gonna hang out with each other, tell unbelievable story and tell funny story. Uh, so let's see here. There goes the train again. Spaghetti. Boast about family. Spaghetti. Joke about politicians. Um, oh. Casual. Oh, so, okay, it looks like they're having a casual discussion, and she is feeling confident. Um, what is this? Ooh, is she like Cassandra Goth? Girl, you need to like get to know her. You're like she's like a teen too. Oh my god, check out this group of Sims, like, socializing. This is really cool. And let's get to know her. Let's see the more choices. And funny, do an impression. Funny, joke about ducks. 
I don't know. Yes. And then let us. Ooh, what are these? There's so many people. Oh my god. <laughs> Discuss interests, I guess. And oh, both yeah. of them. Oh my god, where is she? Girl, Cassandra. Girl. Chat. And then let's send her a text. Okay. Stop it. Stop chatting. Gosh of whips. I actually want her to socialize with her fellow teens and probably I actually want them to, you know, experience life, you know. She is a family and I wanted to really showcase the family aspect of this game first off. So basically I forgot to tell you the story of them. Well I did touch on the story really quickly when we started off and can we like apologize to her? Vena Garza. Uh, let's see here. Oh my gosh. Can we like apologize? Can we not? Okay, whatever. I guess everyone's just gonna leave and stuff. Whatever. Carly, I hate you already. But anyway, the story of this family is that I'm, you know, um, oh, look at that. Oh my god. The, the people, everybody needs to like sleep and stuff. Yeah, y'all need to go to bed. Cause just, yeah. So this is going to be Brenton's room, and this is going to be... Oh my god, check out the fireflies. Those are really cool, actually. You know what? Um, okay, she is also going to bed. And, uh, yeah, like, Glenn is also asleep right now. Um, Glenn, you know what? Let's have, let's have Rachel look at the fireflies and stuff. Really, really pretty, though. The fireflies are so beautiful. Um, but anyway, well, the Sims are asleep. Let me just tell you guys a little bit about the backstory of our family here. So pretty much, um, Glenn and Rachel met really early on when they were teens. And yes, Rachel is a teenage mom. And eventually they had, they had Piper. That's why Rachel and Piper literally look like they're the same age. They literally look like they're sisters. It's because Rachel had Piper when she was really, really young and her, you know, barely barely even 20s when she had piper so um eventually glenn and rachel got married and they had brenton and now they are starting a new life here in willow springs because the town that they were originally in didn't necessarily give them like good impressions you know many people judged them because she got pregnant really early on and all that stuff so it was there, there was a lot of drama basically but now they're trying to start a new life here in willow springs and trying to get to know some some new friends and hopefully it, they will have a happy life here in willow springs pretty much so yeah that is going to be it for their background and you know what guys i think that is actually also going to be it for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely had fun with this one. I'm definitely going to be editing the house a little bit because that roof is just unacceptable. But anyway, yeah, I just, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, all the links for my social media are in the description below. And yeah, I'm Freezer Bunny, and I will see you guys in the very next episode of my Let's Play on The Sims 4. Okay, guys, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.